welcome to Puzzle Master. Today I'm going to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama Rattle Puzzle, which means I'm going to show you the fairly satisfying set of moves to separate those two hook pieces, and then how you can do the reverse to put it back into its original position. Now the hook puzzle is a level 1 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale and it is a level 5 out of 10 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. And if you haven't already got the hook puzzle then you can pick it up from our website puzzlemaster.ca And without further ado, let's get on with that solution. Okay, so here is a fully assembled hook puzzle. Now, for a level 1 puzzle, the steps that we're about to go through can be quite difficult, but I'll try and describe them as best I can, and in a, in a position that's going to be easy to see and easy to, to replicate. So first of all, doesn't matter which hook we start with, but we're going to hold one of the hooks in this position, almost like a, a question mark position, the whole time, and we're just going to move the other hook piece around this question mark piece, or this question mark positioned piece. So, first of all, we want most of the puzzle on the right hand side of the question mark as we are looking at it. And what we're going to do to start with is get the thin ends of the hook just together in this position here. And if you get this right first time or if you get this right full stop, then the moves or the, the gradual sort of work around here can be quite smooth. Uh, if not, then you can sort of just work your wriggle your way around as we're going. So as we're going around this piece here and sliding those thinner sort of wedge pieces past each other, we're coming left or right to left as we're looking at this piece and top to bottom as we're looking at, at this question mark positioned piece. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wiggle our way around to this position. Again, if you do happen to get it in the right position or feed it through at sort of the right rate and the right angle, then that is quite a smooth position or a smooth move to do. Once you've got here and we're sort of free of the sort of growing or working our way through that groove, we then turn the top piece over the top of the question mark position piece. We drop it down to the bottom and then we simply turn around the corner and separate the two hook pieces just like that. And for putting them back together, the, the orientation can be quite uh, difficult to start with. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it in exactly the same position. So this piece is going to stay in that question mark position here. And we're just going to be moving this second hook piece around this first hook piece. So first of all, we want to hook that part in there and then we're going to come over this part here and without letting that bottom hook fall out, we're going to twist around and into this position here. Okay. Then we're going to lift the bottom hook so that the two pieces are touching. This makes it a little bit easier to do the twist movement to get into this position here. And then we are doing that same thing of feeding the gaps around here. And again, if you get it right, it's a little bit easier to get it right with putting it back together than it was to take it apart. But we're going to feed it around. And if we get stuck, we're just going to wiggle our way through until we have fully reassembled the hook piece, the hook puzzle even. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the hook puzzle. For a level 1 or a level 5 puzzle, this is quite a tough solution. There is a few little twists and turns that can be quite tricky to do. I've done my best to show you them in the best possible angles. And hopefully this has helped you solve the hook puzzle for yourself. And if you want to pick up more puzzles just like the hook puzzle, then check out our website puzzlemaster.ca where we have the biggest variety of puzzles on the internet in the world. And until next time, I'll see you later.